good morning students so today we are going to see for the next module that is network theorems then in that network theorem the first theorem we are going to study is milman's theorem then in milman's theorem the statement given is if n number of generators or in can call them as sources having an emf e1 e2 till en and their internal impedance z1 z2 till zn are combined in parallel then these emfs and impedances can be combined to give a single equivalent emf e with an internal impedance of equivalent value z so uh, according to this uh, statements or according to the statement of minimal theorem we can write it as e equal to e1 y1 plus e2 y2 plus till en yn divided by y1 plus y2 plus till yn so this yn we can represent it as or y1 y value we can represent by 1 by z1 y2 1 by z2 and yn as 1 by zn so the equivalent impedance z will be what 1 by y that is nothing but 1 divided by y1 plus y2 plus till yn so this is the statement of a milman's theorem then how to prove this so to prove this we have the one simple circuit is given so this we can take it as the proof of milman's theorem so here e1 e2 and till en and their internal resistance z1 z2 and zn all are connected in the parallel so first let me make this section as the ground and i'll take it as one value here one node as e the potential at that node let it be e okay then if we go on applying for all the nodes for each nodes if we apply the kcl equation what we get is here apply kcl to each nodes so by applying each nodes what if we apply at first this point i am going to get as e1 e minus e1 divided by z1 then e minus e2 divided by z2 then next continue here e minus e3 divided by z3 so it, it till goes on where e minus e n divided by z n so that equation i am going to write it here as e minus e1 divided by z1 plus e minus e2 divided by z2 so till this will go on continuation till the e minus en divided by z n this is equal to zero so the next step here i am going to extract the value that is e divided by z1 minus e1 divided by z1 plus e divided by z2 minus e2 divided by z2 so this will continue till where e divided by zn minus e n divided by zn equal to 0 so next so what i will take here i'll take the e value outside if i take e as outside what are the value i am going to get 1 divided by z1 plus 1 divided by z2 plus goes on 1 divided by z n so this remains and what about this side all the negative will go to here at this side as a positive that is e1 divided by z1 plus e2 divided by z2 plus till 
e n divided by z n okay so if i rearrange this e is equal to what i am going to get e is nothing but e1 y1 plus e2 y2 plus e n y n divided by so it is y1 plus y2 plus till y n so this is the e equation i am going to get so this is the e value okay so what is z where z is nothing but 1 divided by y so this is nothing but 1 divided by y1 plus y2 plus till y n yeah. so this is the impedance value i am going to get okay so here here y1 is nothing but 1 divided by z1 y2 is nothing but 1 divided by z2 till y n is nothing but 1 divided by z n so this is the proof of the millimans theorem so the problems regarding this we'll discuss in the next class thank you